Hello and welcome to Me and My Golf TV, helping you take charge of your game. You've joined us at the Asprey, it's an awful rainy day, and today we're answering lots of your YouTube questions on how far we should swing the golf club in the backswing. Okay guys, so we've been getting loads of questions through Facebook and YouTube regarding the length of the backswing and how far we should take the club back. Now Andy, we ask this question loads anyway, don't we, on the practice tee, and a lot of people speak to us and think that the club shaft should be parallel to the ground. I'll get you to demonstrate that in a moment. But So, so Andy, should we get the club shaft parallel to the ground? Uh, that's, that's No, we don't <laughs> need to get the club okay. shaft parallel to the ground, and we get a lot of people who are trying to do that. Cause we yeah. think, okay, the club should be parallel here. Now, you know, it takes a lot of flexibility and a lot, you yeah. know, a lot of other components to get it there. So, um, no, it doesn't. No, okay, it doesn't okay. Be there. No, absolutely. So, right, and if you just take your setup for me. Yeah. So uh, we'll flip you around so the camera can see you as well, so we can swing to the top. Okay. Now, what do people do sometimes? What faults are caused in order to try and get that golf shaft? Okay, so what we top? see again, an effort to get the, the club parallel to the ground. We often see that as we swing the golf club back, we we often see that a breakdown of the arms in order to sort of see if we can reach this parallel position. Yeah. Now, as you can see from my arms here, they're very collapsed at the top and very different in, in terms of, in, in comparison to my torso. They're not really yeah. working together with the torso. So the torso, basically, or the body has stopped wanting to rotate, so your arms will then carry on because your brain's saying you've got to get the club up to Correct. the top. So it's here, then the arms carry on, and then we end up sort of out of seat, All out of sorts sequence. of problems, yeah, and we see bent left arms, we see flying right elbows and open club faces. So if you suffer with any of those three I've just mentioned, and you're trying to get the golf club to the top, actually I would stop that straight away. So that's one of the main faults we get. There's yep. another one as well that we see. Yeah, often we often see that people over-rotate in order to try and reach the top and get this sort of full backswing. So you can see here now we've got a lot of body motion or body turn here, too much in fact, but even though the club's still parallel to the ground here, I've created too much motion there. Absolutely. So from there, it's very difficult to get the sequence right for the downswing. That often happens because people don't use their wrists and they don't set yeah. the club properly in the backswing. So there's a couple of faults that can happen. What's, what do we look for when we talk about backswing length, Andy? Okay, so what we want to see really, in, in order to create a good backswing length, we want to see that the club, the body motion, and the hands and the arms reach the top of the backswing at the same time, okay? So that means that they finish or complete the backswing at the same time. Now the important thing as well as that is that we've created a good motion with the body. We've created a good wind up with the body that we haven't over rotated. We've got this nice sort yeah. of tension building up so between the tension upper body. there which you can then release into the downswing. If I'm doing this as a static practice swing now, if I rotate my arms and body and work it to what is the top of my backswing, you'll see that actually the top of my backswing there is shorter parallel. Yeah. And a lot of the guys on tour now, uh, the girls maybe not so much because they're really flexible, but a lot of the guys on tour, you'll see that they are a little bit shorter and they've obviously got the strength to go for And I still feel really loaded in that position. If I'm turned here and I'm really loaded in that point, there's no need for me to carry on and go any further back. Yeah, I think for you, if you were to want to go any further back, you've almost got to release a few things as well, yeah. haven't you? Okay, so the, the main thing with this is, guys, that we want you, as Andy said there, to complete the top of your backswing with everything finishing at the same time. That's going to give you the sequence. That's the, that's, the mo that's the most important thing we're sort of, sort of trying to get across here. You know, if you're trying to get that club up there and you have to do all those bad faults we talked about before, you're going to, you're going to struggle. You're going to yeah. get bad shots. Okay, Andy, so pressure's on. It's ridiculously cold here. He's got about 15 jackets here, on. My, my jacket. Yeah. And we're going to get him to hit a shot and see if he can actually get his timing. Just get out of the way of the camera there. So again, it's important, like I say, when I'm doing my backswing here, everything is working together and reaching that point at the same time. And you'll notice that my full backswing with the iron is definitely shorter yeah. parallel. Okay, let's give it a shot. Good luck. Now pretty good. So we can see Solid again, shot. 
Yeah, I like that. Shorter parallel, it helps yeah. me sink into my downswing better, and that's what I'm comfortable doing. Yeah, I mean, just a quick note on that. We do a load of short swing drills to help people with their power right. and, their, and, their, and their accuracy. So actually, you know, you're better off being a little bit shorter, I believe, than going a little bit further. Yeah, There'll always be that. someone who will book that trend, but yeah, that's what we're after. John Daly does a good job, but we wouldn't okay, recommend swinging like him. <laughs> no, no, not at all, not at all. Okay, guys, hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Um, be sure to check out the website. The website's fully live Correct, now yes. as well, so go to meandmygolf.com. Give us your feedback. Yeah, give us your feedback. We'd love to know what you think. Uh, hopefully we're doing a good job. So guys, see you soon.